In this quick hits, we're going to show you how to go from chaos to chorus, making a simple project using TechBlock Chorus, starting with just simple files. So if you have a directory that looks something like this, where you have hundreds of solution files, and you may have some images, like in this case we have some images of our convergence history, we're going to show you how you can go from that to a simple project in Chorus by uh, creating a project that we'll call from chaos to chorus and really the description here is we're going to go from a files to a project and we're going to use a file crawler and we'll just select a directory and we're going to take advantage of the fact that we have some systematic naming conventions including uh, the mock, the alpha and the beta and uh, we're also going to take advantage of the fact that we have some some solution files, we'll just call them raw data, and we have some convergence history files which uh, we'll call their JPEG files, so I'll just say star.jpg, and those are images, and we'll put a C there uh, just so that we know convergence. And we'll just rename this mock, alpha, and beta. So in a couple seconds here I hit go, course is going to go through my directory, and suddenly I have a project and I can look at any one of the data files, and I'll open it up and it's going to push that into my physics visualizer which is TechBlock 360 and it's going to load the file. Now these files are a little over a million and a half cells each so I'll probably be uh, walking through some of this and as I go into the batch processing I may actually go ahead and uh, let it do that behind the scenes so we're not going to watch that happen. So we'll go ahead and create some uh, data files here and uh, you can see that I can manage my jobs there so just going to create some images and uh, we'll use the style file that we just had and we're going to sit and say OK and this thing's going to run in the batch and you can see that while it's doing that we're going to look at the convergence history and walk through each of the solutions and you can see kind of uh, where they were in convergence I didn't let this go very long uh, as it would have taken a long time uh, also you can see that uh, the images that are being created the plots that are being created are being done so behind the scenes so this is all running behind the scenes without any scripting at all and uh, once it's done we can deposit the results and those results will show up as images we'll just select the uh, the solution files of interest we'll view the images and uh, we can just hit one button and now we're looking at a comparative plot by looking at pixel differences for each one and that's how you go from chaos to chorus